Hello everybody! What's going on? My name is Robbie, and you are watching Geek Level Asian. Thank you for joining me and welcome back. I'm sure many of you have already seen this either on Instagram or Twitter and you've already read the news, but Netflix is going to be removing many of our favorite seasons of Power Rangers. Interestingly, not all of them. There's specifically certain ones that are leaving. I'll leave a link to where you can see more about that and which specific ones are leaving, but this video, I'm going to talk about five specific reasons why this sucks. The last one affects me the most. So make sure you watch the entire thing and stick around for that. But before we move on, it's come to my attention that many of you have not subscribed to the channel, but you keep coming back to watch the video. So make sure that you subscribe because I am giving away my Ultra Zord Funko Pop at 5,000 subscribers. So now reason number one I think is the most general and probably affects all of you as well, and that's just the sheer convenience of having everything all in one package online so that we don't have to collect DVDs. Now, that's not to say, hey, if you have the DVDs, that's great. But listen, I don't know when the last time was that I actually purchased a DVD. I I'm going to be honest. I just don't really buy them. Blu-rays, don't really buy those either. Some of you may not even have Blu-ray or DVD players anymore. I know, like, I have one, but we don't ever really use it because we have all of these subscriptions that we're paying a lot for. And it just really is the medium that is the future. Don't get me wrong, some things come back. Vinyls came back, cassettes came back. I don't think that DVDs or Blu-rays, even though they haven't gone, that they're going to get any bigger or any better than they already are. It's possible that Hasbro is planning some type of release that's gonna be like everything from MMPR all the way to Dino Fury, especially if they're ending the relationship with Toei, that would make a lot of sense on their end. Hmm. I'm not saying that that's gonna happen, but it could be like, yeah, here, here's your, here's your childhood, here it is, wrapped up in a box, we're moving on. And the second reason why this is super annoying is because of streaming services, and I kind of mentioned this already, but we have so many streaming services these days, and I have a feeling they're just gonna keep coming out, and I don't think they're going to make, you know, a Hasbro or a Power Rangers or Toku type streaming service. But long story short, I don't want to sign up for any more streaming services. There are already streaming services that I don't have with shows on that I really want to watch that I can't watch yet because I just can't keep buying subscriptions to streaming services. I'd like them all to live in maybe one or two. That would be nice. Now the third one is super frustrating, especially for those who didn't really catch every series growing up or maybe you fell off the wagon. Not that sounds like a like you you have an addiction problem. Um Maybe you just didn't watch all the series, you know, growing up, or maybe you didn't even like one and you want to give it another chance. Having it all together gave you the chance to say, you know what, you know, I, I didn't give this one a chance, maybe I want to watch it. At your own convenience. And that helped me as well. There are definitely series that I didn't watch growing up that, you know, I watched when I was older and I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm actually kind of bummed that I missed this when it was on TV. Or ones that I wasn't really into and I'm like, you know what, this one is actually really good. A perfect example is RPM. I didn't catch RPM when it was on TV, but I watched it as an adult and it is now one of my favorite seasons. It is one of my favorite Power Ranger series. Which is interesting because I'm not sure if when I saw it on TV, I was the person that would have liked it while it was on TV, but me now, I really like it. Now the fourth one that I'm gonna mention is a little bit conceptual, and I'm not saying this is even a real thing, but I can't get it out of my head. And that's kind of the erasure, if that's a word, the erasing of the seasons that maybe for monetary purposes just didn't perform as well or are just not in the, you know, the brand or the continuity that Hasbro wants to move forward with. Because again, we don't know this for sure, but we have seen things online about Hasbro ending the relationship with Toei. We do know officially that Jonathan Entwistle was brought on to basically move forward with the entire, you know, storytelling of, of what Power Rangers is gonna be for a television show and a cinematic universe, which I believe are going to be connected. So I don't know. I don't know if they're saying like, hey, all of you grown-ups who really like Power Rangers, like, get over it. We're taking this away. And you need to either get on board with the new stuff or just get the f out. Again, that's conceptual. I'm not saying that that's happening. I'm not saying it. But Hasbro's been doing... I don't... 
dare I use the word shady, but they've been doing some things that like kind of like bum me out. I mean, if you guys aren't really familiar with Power Rangers now, basically that was a website, an Instagram, and a channel that was dedicated literally to Power Rangers, and it was run by a fan who had been doing it for quite a while. And during the Saban or, you know, every other era, basically before that, they kind of like embraced the community. They embraced content creators and the people who were really getting involved in the community. And when Hasbro took over, Power Rangers now basically announced that because of some of the things that were going on in the direction of, of Power Rangers, that they were ending. Like that whole thing just kind of ended. Same thing with some of the people that we knew that were involved with Power Rangers and were involved with the community were also either let go or, you know, I don't know if they were, if they were fired, if they were laid off, whatever that is. They basically kind of just cleaned house. Also, with creators who are making props, who are making cosplay items, Hasbro went after a lot of those people. I don't know. I don't know if you guys really know that. Maybe I don't. I don't know if I should even really be talking about it. But I know that some of the creators and makers that I knew, they had to shut down their Etsy's. They had to shut down all these. Things. I get it. Listen, it's an IP that's owned by someone else. I totally get it. But it used to be that they embraced the community and they wanted us around. I kind of feel like they don't want us around. So now the last one that I was going to mention. Uh, this one is really annoying for me, and it, it comes to content creation and content creators, probably many like, like many of you or some of the ones that you watch. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to do, you know, I like to add some, basically some, some value to your viewing experience and put pictures and put things that relate to what I'm talking about in the videos. Sometimes as I'm scouring the internet for what I'm talking about, I just can't find what I need. So I run onto Netflix and I screenshot things every once in a while. Everybody, everybody does that. So when I'm talking about something like super obscure, a scene that is definitely not a popular scene, but I'm mentioning it, I try to find it for you and I show it to you so to, you know, make it relevant. Listen, if I have to go put on a DVD to do that or sign up for another streaming service to do that, I'm sorry guys, you're just not gonna get those, those, uh, those images anymore. So I hope it doesn't devalue the quality of your viewing experience on my videos, but Having it just on Netflix, I could just sign in my, on my web browser, I could just screenshot it, get it really quick, it's there, you know, it's just gonna be really, no or, or sometimes those images are on Google, but they're like 300 by 300 pixels, and they're tiny, and they just look fuzzy and stupid. I'm not surprised that they're keeping Mighty Morphin, I'm not surprised that they're keeping that, because obviously, not only is it the original, it definitely is the most popular series amongst new fans and legacy. I am surprised they're getting rid of like things like Dino Charge, because that was like a fan favorite from, from what I understand. But they're keeping the holiday episodes and things like Legendary Battle from seasons that they're getting rid of. That like kind of just doesn't make any sense. Because at first, I thought it was a, like a licensing or a rights problem. It's like, hey, okay, our contract ended. That happens. Contracts end. That's okay. And if we decide not to renew, that's fine. Because I thought it was like, oh, well, you know, this season was technically owned by Disney. And we don't feel like paying them royalties anymore. And this one was owned by Nickelodeon. And we don't feel like paying royalties anymore so like I totally understood that but it's like then why are the holiday specials from those seasons gonna stay on that doesn't really make any sense from from that perspective I don't know I don't know maybe they just really like Christmas and I don't know guys I know for like the past few videos I've been painting this picture and I'll be honest I, it's not even really on purpose but like it's just that I have become so disheartened disenchanted by this whole Hasbro thing because when they first came in I was pretty stoked you know I know that they handle their their intellectual property well they've obviously been around for a really long time I was like these guys are professionals it's not like the it's not like Power Rangers being handed to some company we've never heard of so I was like pretty stoked about it I was like okay well this is probably gonna be good but little by little everything that's happening every everything that's happened so far I'm kind of just been like wh what's going on like and why and the funny thing is I'm nobody to them. They don't do, I don't deserve an answer We don't deserve answers and that's exactly how they feel about it is what it seems like and I'll give you an example Like when most shows are leaving Netflix There are websites and websites and articles about the shows that are leaving this seemed to from those websites themselves This seemed to come out of nowhere like this wasn't announced at any time It just kind of happened which is like were you trying to fly under the radar and if you are it could either be for a shady reason, or it could be an off- it, Honestly, Hasbro, I don't know what you have planned. It could be for an awesome reason. I have no idea. 
I'm not sure what it is. I, I can only hope that limiting us from getting Super Sentai here in America, limiting us from getting now Power Rangers on Netflix, I hope that that means you're going to deliver that in some way. And if you're not, then that sucks. So that's it, guys. I would love to hear your opinions. I'd love to hear also your feedback on the things that I said today. Because again, many of you probably are maybe not aware of the things that are going on uh, or don't pay attention to, to that side of things. Um, or maybe you do. I, maybe you know more than I do. I'd love to know that. And if you have gotten to this part in the video, I'm guessing you like the video, just subscribe. It only makes sense at this point. You can also follow me on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. I'm trying to TikTok more, but I am a 35-year-old man. And I also can't dance. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And may the power protect you.